This is a demonstration of the new VHF audio modulation which was recently released on Pilot Edge. I'm looking right here at the venerable Long Beach Airport in Southern California. Great looking airport, except we're actually not parked there. We are parked over at the Torrance Airport, several miles to the west over here. Keep that in mind when I refer to these two airports as we do this demo right here. So I'm in a barren at Torrance, and the airport we were just looking at at the beginning of the video is Long Beach. What I'm going to do is call for a quick VFR departure out of Torrance, departing to the east. But during the course of the taxi or during the flight, I'm going to swap over to the Long Beach ground and tower frequencies as we listen to ATC. You wouldn't do this in real life, of course, but this is to demonstrate uh, what it's like listening to transmissions that are closer to the edge of the maximum reception distance. So let's kick off by getting a taxi from Torrance Ground. Angel 1, Blue Hat Tower, make approach straight into runway 34, clear to land. Straight into 4, clear to land, Angel 1. Torrance Ground, Baron 1 Tree to Kilo Tango at the west ramp, taxi for VFR to the uh, southeast, request runway 11 left with the weather. Baron 1 Tree to Kilo Tango, John Wayne Ground, Cash and Torrance Ground, good afternoon, runway 11 left, taxi via Bravo. Woman left via Bravo, Baron 132, kill ticket. Okay, so everything is normal there. You can hear the VHF modulation. Uh, the bass has been removed. We've basically got some, some uh, equalizer settings, so it doesn't sound like studio quality audio anymore. But that is not really with any distortion introduced. second, just make sure I know exactly where I'm going here. Angel 1 off on off, I request taxi to spin to field. Uh, have a taxi to signature via Alpha 5, remain this frequency, have a good one. Thanks, Jerry Alpha 5, thanks for the help, new one. Grad November 22, uh, sorry, 132 Kel Tango, actually request runway 11 one right via Alpha and Delta, just be straight ahead here. Baron 2 Kel Tango, Roger, runway 11 one right, taxi via Alpha Delta. 11 one right via Alpha and Delta, Baron 2 Kel Tango. Debonair 487 Tango, contact circle device. Over departure, 37 Tango. Okay, what I've done now is swap to Long Beach Ground. And you can hear that the audio quality has gone way down. The, uh, the ground transmitter at Long Beach is not quite as powerful as the, uh, as the tower, the way we've got it configured on the network. So what I'll do is actually swap to Long Beach uh, Tower if there's time during one of these transmissions, and you'll be able to hear the, um, hear the difference. Let's do this. Torrance Ground, Baron 1 Tree, 2 Kilo Tango. Have you got time to uh, read out the META for John Wayne? Baron 1 Tree, 2 Kilo Tango, no problem. John Wayne, clear reporting wind 210. Zero, zero, two clouds at 14,000. Okay, this is Torrance Tower. Temperature Correction, Long Beach Tower. Altimeter 29097. Okay, thanks, Scott. Baron 132, kill taker. So we started out there with very, very weak reception because we were on Long Beach ground, so the worst case scenario, effectively, or very close to the worst case scenario. Midway through that, I swapped to Long Beach Tower and it improved, and now we're back to, of course, talking to um, Torrance. Now that's that's uh, swapping it in uh, in mid sentence here. Let's uh, let's try it um, more organically as we actually climb up. Okay, so again, we'll have Long Beach ready to go. What I'll do is put that in the COM1 standby. So Long Beach ground is 133.0. We're on Torrance Tower, 
and we'll call for this departure now. Tonight's to tower bound one tree to Kiel Tango, short of runway one one right for a straight out departure. Baron one tree to Kiel Tango, Tonham Tower, runway one one right. Cliff for takeoff, wind 260 at 13. Uh, cliff takeoff, copy the winds, uh, cliff takeoff, runway 11 one right, Baron 132, kill takeoff. Alright, we're going to secretly swap over to Long Beach ground. If I make any calls at this point, I've actually briefed the controller what, what I'm doing here. Um, again, you would not do this ordinarily in real life, but we're doing it purely for the radio demonstration. Ordinarily, if you did this on Pilot Edge and you started calling on different frequencies, they would call you on it and say, why are you calling me on Long Beach ground? Okay, we're ready to go. I'm descending on purpose. Okay, uh, we will look out for that traffic since they're heading towards the Queen Mary. Can we get a right crosswind departure for now on 2 Kill Tango? Baron 2 Kill Tango, make right crosswind departure. Okay, make a right crosswind departure, Baron 2 Kill Tango. November 8 1, Yankee Sir Batan, go ahead with the read back runway 3 4, you go to land. Okay, we'll swap back to Torrance Tower. Okay, November 8 1, Yankee cleared to land runway 3 4. And in fact, we'll kill the comms and pause right there. So if we review what we did in that sequence, the uh, the audio with Long Beach ground was very weak during the takeoff roll, and then once we got off the ground, uh, it just happened that somebody else uh, called, and so you heard the quality of that transmission improving as we got even just 50 to 100 feet off the ground. It actually improved quite a bit. Um, I then uh, once that was demonstrated, I then descended lower again to, so you could hear the audio get worse as we got close to the ground. I got as close as I dared without hitting the trees and then continued a regular climb. During that time, the uh, controller issued a relatively long transmission, and we again have coordinated this for the purpose of this video. He issued a relatively long transmission so that we could hear that audio um, improving during the climb itself. So that pretty much covers the, uh, the new audio system. Hope you guys enjoy the VHF modulation. Feel free to, uh, to give it a try.